Ah, hello and um, good day to you. Uh, on what is a very mixed weather down in the IO90. Uh, weather has been like flipping from really, really torrential rain uh, to nice and bright and sunny and then somewhere's in between. So hasn't made doing uh, much on the radio, uh, outside at least, uh, uh, possible, but there we are. Um, but I thought I'd give an update anyway. Um, I just want to put out a quick shout out as well to um, Clint who runs uh, this YouTube channel so we can see it here. Uh, yeah, this channel, uh, Oxford Shortwave. Um, he does, um, I really like his presenting style um, and he's so clear and really well spoken, always has good things to say. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, I really, I really like this uh, YouTube channel, um, and I really, I really like what Clint does. So yeah, big, big thanks to Clint. And if you've not been there, and you're looking at my channel, um, if you're into radio, definitely pay, give it, give it a look. But uh, yeah, so I thought, yeah, uh, I'd make a video anyhow, albeit indoors. So what I thought I'd do today was um, talk about um, a little bit about the website, uh, which has now been marked and completed for um, my MSc. Uh, I'm doing a MSc at Bangor University, albeit remotely, um, because of uh, the delightful COVID situation. Um, but no, it's uh, brilliant. Um, brilliant learning, um, fantastic tutor. I'm just so lucky to have really good tutors who can um, deliver such complex uh, topics um, over the internet and engage so well with their students um, all of my lectures have been like that and it's been brilliant um, but this is for um, what's called web web, technolo web technologies I should be able to pronounce that really shouldn't I um, so the last time I studied with like in, anything close to uh, web development was back in 1996 um, and of course that was like you know not the infancy of the internet but like very much uh, you know the, the kind of content we get today um in terms of video audio um it was very much early days i mean you know, i learned html back then and um yeah it's a uh, very very different um so this website really we could have done it on anything so you know we absolutely we could choose what we've made this website about and really um it motivated me to like really think okay what what can i make a website on um, so I picked my favourite hobby, so but yeah, obviously amateur radio. Um, with that, I, I included the parts of it um, that were most relevant and can also help other people. I thought it would be quite quite cool. Um, so yeah, this, this is all in uh, the very latest version of HTML. It uses uh, CSS, JavaScript, but yeah, if you come to the site, you'll be able to see it. Um, so if you, you know, go... Uh, but to learn how I build it, you know, in here we discuss how the back end and front end works. So obviously, like this website is hosted on a server somewhere, and all the back end stuff is obviously here in my home, um, down in sunny Bournemouth, or not so sunny Bournemouth. But yeah, um, really, really enjoyed this project. It's uh, just really motivated me to make uh, better websites here, move away from WordPress, start doing my own thing um, in HTML5. CSS and uh, JavaScript. So um, yeah, big big thanks to uh, Pete, our teacher, who's done a brilliant job in uh, motivating us to do well. But let's let's have a quick look through it though, and see what we got. Um, so this is my whisper transmitter here. You can see that it's a little Raspberry Pi, and um, that's got a Pi hat on for forty meters. And that chucks out a whopping 0 0.2 watts. But unbelievably, um, it reaches the world. It, it gets out amazingly well. And it's really good when I want to, my uh, 7300, as seen here, uh, to do something which doesn't require my interaction. I just bung it, bung on Whisper, and put five watts into it, and I compare the two. Um, I've got the, the 6B TV, you can see there, and I don't see if you could see it, but it's actually a, a full-blown 80 meter end fed that goes all the way around the garden, um, but it's about yeah less than a meter off the ground, and I, I switch between the two. Um, so the 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 pie is on the the 40 meter end fed, 
and when obviously when I'm using the 7300 that's going through the 6B TV I'm using 5 watts uh, then so it's quite easy to differentiate in the reports which antenna I used um, anyway uh, yeah so on my on my side I, I'd go a little bit into it um, I've done some nastiness here this is um, all iframes there's a better way of doing this so one of the things I will be updating is like taking all the iframes out of this site um, but I do like the fact the clocks are there I mean um, pan radio we, we really do depend on a uh, good time and what the time is um, where in the world so yeah this helps um, this is the uh, the whisper part so quick quick overview I'll go into the details of whisper and then I've got a DX10 um, so this shows you like uh, top whisper responses by distance um, but it's purely by distance so in this case I'm yeah let's come from the 7300 and um, yeah I've reached uh, VK so that'd be Australia won't it yeah that's Australia doing really well and uh, likewise okay uh, oh wow yeah I've not been transmitting on the uh, the Raspberry Pi uh, lately so everything in here is going to be five watts um but still we the interesting one uh irrespective of the wattage is the slr um so you can see lately i've been doing a lot of work on um on uh, excuse me on 10 meters um so yeah really good to see some 10 meter results in here and the slr has just been yeah really good 15 and look at the distances um yeah, it's going to be five watts again, uh, but yeah, I'm uh, getting a nice seven hundred and seventy-five, uh, really good SNR. So it's showing the antennas and, and the skip is, is really good at the moment. Um, so yeah, I really enjoy that. I've got a little graph in here. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't differentiate on the frequency I use. This is just like when it sees my call sign. Um, it pulls the data out of the database and it plots a line so i could probably work out which one frequencies are what but yeah it does help with the fact like seeing how far i'm reaching and uh what time of day it is um spots map i wasn't able to complete the code for this but it's, it was probably a bit too much to chew off um so i just included links but even these kind of like little buttons and stuff here that's all um style sheets and uh, these headings in different colors that's all um CSS as well so yeah important stuff it's like yeah, all, all of this website is like interactive um, so the next spec is the spots table so like you can see here like I've got like um, last 10 the whole of today and all of them um, again all of this data um, is transversed um, by a, some yeah, t a VPN tunnel essentially uh, onto the website um, yeah, really, really enjoy it. Um, seeing this all work, and I've developed the back end to it. You, you, you'll see in the about. Um, I wrote a few scripts for this. I'll go down the page. Have a look here. This is script script I use that basically um, pulls the data from um, the Whisper database and then pulls it into my own database which I can then use however however I want. Um, I'll put it on uh, on GitHub so other people can use it and um, populate it with their own call signs. Yeah, quite quite a um, neat little project. Okay, and uh, yeah, just saw there very briefly. Um, the other part, let's see the other bit because we'll probably talk about the SDR a little bit more. The other part, oh, okay, I need to fix that link. There we are. <laughs> the other part of the project is I've got a weather sensor out there as well. So um, this is really, really useful, especially when it's windy. Um, it's like uh, I've suffered a few uh, antenna issues in high wind. Um, and whilst we get the uh, the, wind, the wind alerts, you know, we we'll always pay attention to the Met Office for alerts and in terms of putting antennas up or down. Um, unfortunately, you know, um, it still means that the, the, the antennas do get damaged. It's quite interesting to to look at the weather. Um, so you could see a few weeks ago here we had that you know really strong winds, um, and I think we can probably see. Can we see the weather machine from here? Let's see. There she is. There's the weather machine. Um, it takes all the uh, responses and that sends it to a little uh, receiver in here, which is then in turn. 
put into uh, WeWX and uh, the whole site is uh, synchronized to this server. So I've got a local copy of this and also uh, this then gets uh, copied over the, the VPN um, to the uh, website you're looking at now. So yeah, um, you know, five, every five minutes this updates. So yeah. Um, but yeah, really, really useful tool. So in, in, in some, you know, I've got really good information. I've got WeFax section on here. Um, I'm still working out how to um, get my latest pictures in here. Um, the thing that I have got, which I won't give the URL for fully yet, um, is like I have got a way of um, getting the pictures off the server um, onto this. Sorry, off, off, off my receiver here and on onto the server. But I want to um, keep the nice uh, CSS and um, what do you call it, like a gallery. So it's easy to flick through and the files will keep their own names without me having to title them. Um, so we're about to see what transition uh, it was at what time. Um, so I'll be updating that in due course. I mean, I'll, I'll make all of this perfect um, so we can see the different um, weather charts. But there we go. Um, QTH cameras. So I've, had, I've got a couple of cameras down here. Um, but they did tend to drop their connection once uh, once or twice, but I've completely upgraded um, all of my home network, um, as it says on here. Um, I'm now on um, Virgin Fiber, and my internet speeds, my downlink speed is 500 meg, my uplink speed is uh, 30 megs a second. Um, so, we're, and my Wi-Fi has been uh, revamped indoors as well, I may, may do another video about that. Um, but yeah, my, my Wi-Fi in the house now is just um, uh, phenomenal speeds. Um, so I don't think the, the Wi-Fi in, outside in, in the garden, uh, which looks at the antennas, uh, should be an issue anymore. But I need to set that up, obviously. Um, but last but not least, I've got this uh, Kiwi SDR. Um, <clears throat> let me just mute it. Um, but as you, can, as you can see, this is currently using my... Um, Boom, 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 boom. Can we zoom this out? Bear with me. Um, this is currently using that loop antenna there, the MFJ one. Um, again, going, going back to clean, uh, clean on the shortwave uh, site. Um, he uses a Wellbrook. Um, and I've been in touch with Wellbrook and I've ordered a Wellbrook uh, antenna. So at the moment, I'm a little bit kind of like will i put that on the 7300 with a rotator or will i replace it um on the kiwi sdr um long long and short of it it depends on the performance so i'm not sure which one of the two will make a better receiver antenna i've got the mods on the 7300 to to put in a um receive uh only antenna um so yeah the possibilities are there and as you can see um my QRM, there's still some on there. Uh, I need to go around and do another QRM hunting session, but obviously the VDSL, which was really present, um, has now completely gone. Uh, the, the router and everything is just off. Um, it's probably still still on the line, but because there's no router syncing up um, and not coming into the shack, I, I just do not get any VDSL interference from my own part. So, um, that was a little tour. But, oh yeah, of course you can look up uh, this Kiwi. If you, if you go to the Kiwi web uh, Kiwi website, um, you can look up my call sign, 2 Echo 0, Foxtrot Whiskey Echo, and use it from there. Um, if you want to come and have a look at my website, um, you're more than welcome. I'll put the URL for that in the comments, or, sorry, in, in the notes below the video. But yeah, I thought I'd give a, a video, um, as I've been incredibly uh, busy off late. Um, I've had, I would say I've, I've had, I've had, I've had an exam, I've had an assignment, and I have this assignment to hand as well, um, as well as work. So um, it's just been crazy here. Um, the shack is still a mess, <laughs> but I, I hope I hope to sort that out in due course. Um, thanks again, thanks for listening, and um, I hope everyone takes care, stay safe, and. Let's hope we keep this path out to normality from Monday. Um, if you offer the injection, please don't go and get it. Um, we're all in this together. We need we need to look after each other. 
Take care. Stay safe. Sorry, freeze.